morning. Good morning. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 15. Beautiful morning. Amen. Brother Richard made it down safely. We're going to join his company as much as possible while he's been here. Amen. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, <clears throat> in Genesis chapter 15, we're not going to read very far. Starting in verse 1, it says, After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Yeah. Isn't that something to take peace in? Yeah. Amen. Isn't that awesome that we, God is our shield and our exceeding great reward? Yeah. We have nothing else. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, saying, I go childless, and the steward of my house is Eliezer of Damascus? <clears throat> and Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Amen. Amen. I'm about that. Yeah. It's awesome that the word of the Lord came to commune with him and inform him of these things. It's cool how Jesus can communicate through his word to us, and you just be reading casually. Yeah. But how long did it take him? And in verse 6 it says, And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. How long did it take God to account that for him? Immediately. That's absolutely right. Over there in Hebrews it says that, uh, oh not Hebrews, I'm sorry. It's uh, I think it's Romans. And he says, was Abraham righteous in uncircum uncircumcision or in circumcision? He says, yea, verily in uncircumcision. Because he's Abraham right now. Because he believed God. Yeah. And was accounted to him for righteousness. And circumcision is our picture of baptism in the Old Testament. But it's also like, what are we made out of? Uh, Abraham, Abraham himself says that he's, he's but dust and ashes. And Samuel says that where water poured out on the ground, it cannot be gathered up again. Like your life is a vapor. But it's awesome that we can God can account those things for us for righteousness. And it can be accounted immediately when you're when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He spreads your sins as far as the east is from the west, yeah. the Bible says. But no. how long does that take? It's immediately. It's awesome that you are accounted kings and priests and open to the glory of God and the full righteousness of the power that he has in heaven immediately. Yeah. And that's just awesome. I just wanted to share that with y'all. It's just, man, you know. Amen. See, I got to think about who your friend is. You know, Jesus is our greatest friend. And I would yeah. like y'all just to hold on to that and not ever forget that because, you know, like, I'll, I'll help you out. You know, you're cool. Like, we can, we can hang out. I enjoy your company. We can talk about how awesome Jesus is. Yeah. But I'm not a, a friend like Jesus is. I could never be. Yeah. It's awesome that it could be accounted unto us for righteousness. Just simply for believing. Yeah. There's no great work you can accomplish. There's no speeches to be given or loads to be bared or anything. Jesus says to cast your load on him and he'll bear it for you. Yeah. And that's Amen. a real friend. Jesus is our real friend. Amen. 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 Let's pray. 